It's your old buddy Half Dollar here on a Monday afternoon. God, I would have done this about 40 minutes ago, except that my coworker buddy wanted to go to shitty Chick fil A for lunch. And not even four hours later, I felt like I never ate in my life. So instead of having a balanced dinner that I was going to prepare at home, I stopped at Luby's and had to load up. Well, anyway, feeling better now. Check my mail, which is awesome because I got a package here. And I decided to double up from this morning as well. So let me go ahead and I'll, I don't even need to cut this. I could just tear into this today, I think, except that there's this tape obstructing me. Lots of bubble wrap and what have you, making sure that the package got here safe, which it appears to have. And we'll go down another layer here. Put the point on the side. We got the pack and slip by Bonanza Coin, www.juliancoin.com. Let me take a looky-see at this piece. Oh yeah. Check it out. Okay, let me get the focus here. Yes, there we go. It is the Cincinnati commemorative half dollar. It is PCGS slab MS65. Long story short, this one's this one's expensive as hell. I only think there's a few more that are more expensive than this, and I mean I'm talking stratosphere expensive ones. I probably won't get like the uh, Hawaii commemorative and the uh, uh, Spanish Trail. I'd really love to get the Spanish Trail, but I'm not spending fifteen hundred dollars right now on a single coin. So anyway, Mr. Julian Coin had this up for $525 and had a or make best bid. So I came back at $460 and he came back at $477.50. So I'm like, sure. I'm not going to get a better deal than that. Everyone else was buying now with no flexibility or the rest of them were auctions. So I, I pulled the trigger. This really is a nice looking coin. So the, it, the history is interesting and I forgot to set up my laptop to read it verbatim. But basically, this coin was looked at as a gimmick of sorts, apparently. There was a a bunch of lobbyists, per se, from Cincinnati that wanted to push this through Congress. And, you know, it kind of stunk. Kind of like Perth Mint products, you know? Is it a gimmick? Is it Mickey Mouse or, you know, Olympic coins? You know, something goofy. But there was a limited mintage of 15,000 of these between the three mints. And they were pretty expensive back in the day to get because these were not circulated. I think they were like between $1 and $2 each if you wanted to purchase one of these. But if, say, that one dollar can be worth, let's just say, five hundred dollars, 80 years later, yeah, I guess if you don't mind being, you know, waiting that long, it's a great return. But, I mean, I kind of see you know why it's a MS-65. I mean it's got some subtle marks on it. Not as bad as some of these uh, crocodiles I've been watching being unboxed lately. Once again another knock at the Perth. Guys get your act together. So let me do another close-up of that there. I mean basically the story the reason they wanted to push this coin was because 
uh, there was nothing really much else to celebrate about Cincinnati. And music was a big deal back then. So, they finally got it pushed out. And it really is a beautiful looking coin. I mean, if anyone that really follows my videos or knows me from the Hangouts knows I already have about nine or about eight or nine different, I think maybe ten now, uh, commemoratives. 50, you know, US 50 cent pieces. I try to get it as, you know, I mean, yeah, I could could have spent twice as much to get the uh, MS-66 or triple to get the MS-67, but I'm not gonna, yeah, it, it is too much, that's too much money in a single piece of silver, no matter how nice it is. So, I mean, I'm, I'm quite content on the uh, MS-65 for this uh, particular coin, and anyway. Looking forward to another uh, another one on its way, uh, a 50 cent piece. I'll leave those who don't know guessing. It's a pretty fun one. I'll just give you a hint. It's another rodent on the back. And then, uh, you know, I got a, uh, you know, another big addition to my silver stack on its way from Matt Max that ought to arrive sometime later this week as soon as the check clears. Glad I bought one I did. Everyone watching the spot price of, you know the price of spot silver lately? Wow. So we're coming up on about seven minutes for a single coin. I'm gonna stop it now, stop rambling, maybe save it for the silver chat. Go in there and uh, cause a ruckus because it's fun. Anyway, for those who seem intolerant of having some fun, I say, lighten up. It's fun. Till next time, I'll see you all later.